<laughs> Sorry, but uh, I had no choice. Rise has me by the balls. What? What did you do? What I had to. <laughs> what can I say? The world is an unforgiving place. Uh oh. Am I trapped down here? I look pretty trapped in here. Okay. So. I've been sold out, apparently. And this is supposed to be a dead end, but it looks like I can, I can probably get out of here. So this is the real reason why they had me go first, is they wanted me to get killed by the zombies. And if the zombies didn't kill me, they wanted me to just get trapped down here and something go wrong. Then the rest of the group's probably going to go through safely without me. So that's... What a beautiful world we live in right now. Alright, let's see what happens when I go down here. Probably bad stuff. Probably a new infected type. Hopefully it's not an underwater monster, because that's not shit I want to deal with. Oh, are they, are they just shooting at me with guns? Oh, shit. That's not where I thought this was going at all. Uh, pull out my gun. Uh, grappling hook, grappling hook. How do I get out of here? What the fuck? Okay, I misinterpreted how to handle that situation, clearly. Granted, I was in the water and couldn't move, couldn't use any of my devices, and couldn't really see what was going on. So that's a fun situation to be in. Can I just hop in the water over here, maybe? Or is this a dead end? I'm thinking dead end right now. Okay. We'll head back up. Maybe keep my light off. Maybe having the light on help them detect me. It looks like there's a zombie right... It looks like one of them's right behind me when I drop down. Maybe I can hop up? Nope. Where's an entrance of some kind? What do they expect me to do here? Okay, yeah, I'm not having... F this isn't very fun right now. <laughs> I don't see a way out. What the fuck's going on? Can I grappling hook back up the... Let's see. Can I go back the way I came? Be just like, fuck y'all's trap. Ching! Oh my god, that worked. So... <laughs> Is that valid? Do I get to just leave and win? Nope, the, qu the the objective is to survive the ambush. As funny as this is, I don't think I can get away with just going backwards. This is annoying. Because they, they just dump me into a place where I'm in water, everyone's shooting me, and I can't, like, move. And because I'm underwater and it's all murky, I can't even tell where my goal is. Like, where's the spot that lets me get out of the water? Okay, going that way hurts me, apparently. No, going at, go, being anywhere hurts me. God damn it. All right, let's try swimming to the very bottom. Maximum distance from the bullets. But where am I trying to go exactly? All right, yeah, right now I'm just not taking damage. So do I just swim across? Do I even have to fight them? Is that what my mistake was? Is I was trying to get up to fight them? It looks like I can just leave. All right, well, that was easy. And by easy, I mean completely un- kind of unintuitive and broken feeling a bit. <laughs> uh, can I re- can I surface here? Because I think I'm probably drowning right now. Alright. I, I assume I'm supposed to climb up and fight them now, because it says survive the ambush and this whole area is highlighted. So I think I'm supposed to hang it out. Oh, crap. Keep forgetting that right- that left trigger is, uh, not how you iron sight your weapon. It's how you, uh, ooh. Health regen item stuff. I keep trying to iron sight my weapon with left trigger just out of, uh, just out of, like, muscle memory. But it, you have to, like, click right stick for it, which is awkward. Although it is kind of, it's, it, it, it's the Halo way of handling things, and I love Halo. But not a lot of games work that way these days. Where's his head? I can't see. Did I get him? Ah! Okay, I died. Yeah, this is what I bought the game for, is for shooter segments. <laughs> I can't help it, I just, I don't care about this very much. At least it spawns me here. I didn't have to go through the whole previous zone again. It, I just don't, I just don't necessarily think the shooting is very good to begin with. So I'm not really in much of a hurry to have segments based around it. I'd rather fight special zombies and weird, with weird powers than fight a bunch of humans with, you know, guns. So exciting. You know what's exciting? Throwing Molotovs at people. Fuck those guys. 
I can't even see you, but I'm throwing fire in your general direction, maybe. Did I win? Screw you guys. I have so many medkits, I'm basically invincible, except for when I forget to use them. Did I get him? I don't see him on the map. I think I got him. The secret was, exce was excessive quantities of fire. Because fuck those guys. Uh, military rifles, how good are they? Uh, 137. So th I'm noticing the right... Uh, the rifles are like the one thing that's not getting more powerful over time. How did I... It says inventory full. How did I fill it up? It's, my inventory is not full. It just it must just mean that I have maximum number of bullets, I assume. Flying stars. Oh, someone died all the way down here. I didn't even see this dude. He's probably the last guy. Nope, 137. That's a shittier, shittier weapon. What do we have down here? Side door? That does not seem to be my the, the direction I'm trying to go in for the quest. So maybe something cool is here? Like, he yeah, healing items. All right. Let's go ahead and just make more... For no good reason. Let's just go ahead and make more, uh, medkits. You can't tell me what to do. I'll never stop healing. Ever. Ever. I can make 75 more lockpicks. That's just silly. I already have like 100 right now. And Molotovs, because reasons. It's like, I keep unlocking grenades and stuff like that, but I'm like, well, Molotovs are silent, meaning they don't attract zombies, and they burn everybody. Like, you can get all these crazy upgraded versions, or you get this one thing that just seems really handy. Hey, more, hey, good news is I got more coffee there that'll help us with the uh, coffee quest, although they wanted a lot of coffee for that. It's really a bummer that I, I've been automatically selling it on accident. By, not automatically, but I've been... But every time I pick that, every time I sell my valuables, my coffee goes with it, even though there's a quest for it. Dragon Age and... This game and Dragon Age both have that problem, where they have quests... They, they established a, a category of loot that's basically just stuff you, that you sell for money and has no other purpose. But then, ha like, no, towards, the end of the end of the, towards the end of the game, there's like, here's a quest that requires you to have that thing. And I'm like, but I've been selling it this whole time because you inferred that that doesn't matter. And I'm like, well, you should have known because from watching someone else do a Let's Play that you have to have this stuff with you all the time. I'm like, this is a little janky. Thankfully, the content doesn't actually matter, so it's not actually hurting people in a way that matters, but it's it, it's it's just still a bummer. What are we going to find up here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I switch items? Cancel? Is there a cancel button? Oh, nope. That didn't cancel it. So, uh, I tried to grappling hook reflexively and used a Molotov. It's just, it's, I'm just that good at this game. I don't, I don't know if you've understood that, but I'm just the best player. And that's why this happens. We have an interesting looking map here, just a bunch of square shaped rooms that are all strung together. We'll see how this lays out. There's something behind this wall apparently. Cause not on this side of the wall as far as I can tell. Huh. So what is this, oh it's just tons of pillars is what, is what this is. Cause it's all underground so it has excessive supports. Open up boxes, hoping for coffee. I'm gonna be really bummed if I sell coffee again on accident. Oh more coffee. It's like they know what I want. They can hear me. Or they just can see my quest log is a more logical conclusion. Some clo a bunch of clothing and a bag with some duct tape. That just it's fifty shades of dying light. <laughs> what do we have in here? More coffee, please. Why? Thank you. So polite. Granted, I won't even be able to turn that stuff in until we get all the way back to the previous zone again. Whenever that happens, I assume you can go back whenever, but you might, that might not even be true. I might have been, I might have been gone I might have taken a, a point of no return by coming here in which case uh we're never gonna see that coffee quest again again I'll find out the hard way a lot of a lot of loot around here though they're prepping me for something or they're just or they're just arbitrarily throwing shit where they feel like it Th those are both completely valid shit, where are they? Quiet. yeah I see you guys too I probably could have been a little stealthier about that, but I walked in with my flashlight on. <laughs> kind of doesn't work very well again to have flashlights out if you want to be stealthy around uh, humans. Would have been great to open with a Molotov without any of the uh, fighting at all. Please die. There we go. He's dead. Now I can just loot him. Ooh, rifle, rifle right there. Tell everyone to stay away from the saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to contact Troy when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. 
Got it. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Well, it's a good thing I have a contact. Is that the... Oh, hey, there it is. That's the that's the girl from... Uh, that's Her name's Jade, right? Does it say it on here? Haran Kings Hall, 3rd of May, 2014. Meet the three-time kickboxing champion. Oh, yeah, Jade Almond... Ald... Aldemer. The Scorpion. So, yeah, that, that's the uh, the girl that they're trying to sell into, like, weird fight slavery at the pit. And has been working with me along the way and has quite extensive eyeliner, if I remember correctly. Uh, despite being a kickboxer that's probably sweating constantly and should not really have uh, face makeup. Ah, oh, crap. Is there really no way to switch out? Is there no way to cancel a throw? Oh, well. Whee! It's... It is still a bummer that, uh, utility items like the, like the UV light and the, and the, uh, grappling hook are the same button as, uh, like, uh, throwable weapons. I, I keep trying to just use it for mobility reasons, and then it's like, oh, I guess I lost one of those Molotovs I crafted. It's cool. They don't require a resource and time to acquire or anything like that. No one's gonna miss them. They just respawn magically. That would be the secret to making me not care, I suppose. All right, let's leave the building. Savior's my ass. The bastards are working with rice. They ambushed me and I barely got past them. So much for trusting people. Okay, here goes nothing. Jade, it's Crane. Do you copy? Jade, it's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. All right, it's time for some local talent. Troy, this is Crane, do you copy? Crane, it's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here, in the Zero? <laughs> Fantastic. Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our loft. Head that way and we'll be waiting. Safe zone unlocked. Sightseeing. Wow, all sorts of things happening at once. Survivor ranked up. Crane here. Ganden, can you hear me? Crane? Yes, yes, I hear you. What's going on? I'm in Sector Zero. Is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet. And even if she does manage to get here, it won't be easy getting in. I had to barricade myself inside because of Rise and his thugs. You okay? Trapped inside my lab, but safe. You coming my way? Not yet, Doctor. First, I have to find Jade and recover Zera's research. Okay, I'll sit tight then. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. So, not a not a good first sign. Everyone's in trouble. Where uh, Jade could have easily been sold out the same way I was, and maybe she didn't make it through, or maybe she's captured. Son of a bitch, I'm under attack, aren't I? Oh, it's a plane. What was that sound? Oh, that's what it is. Eating zombie right downstairs. Back to lock picking. Where? Oh, did I nail it? Did I? Ah, uh, didn't nail it. Did I nail it now? I did. So we need to find Jade, and number, and we need to find whatever the other person's name was. I've already forgotten. God damn it, Troy. Troy. There we go. Troy and Jade. Jade could be captured. Troy is just hanging out somewhere and then we also have the uh the local doctor the one that we talked to over the radio with the first one who is now dead and it looks like my survivor ranked up my survivor skill ranked up when i first got here i'm gonna go don't worry i'm not gonna sit here and lockpick stuff for 17 years i just saw a few really quick wow everything i touch has coffee in it i, I think this game genuinely does look at your quest and be like hey it looks like you need coffee here's coffee and just keeps giving you more Let's look at what I can get for survivor rank. So here's my grappling hook. Last time I bought specialist, because it uh, helped me do uh, make blueprints more effectively. Craftsman, learn how to use weapon blueprints more effectively. Every time you use a crafted weapon, the elemental effects is increased and you deal more damage. I might want to do that. Uh, I should probably craft my future weapons. Well, though that makes me wonder what, what I'm going to use money for at that point. Then uh, camouflage attack. I don't really use camouflage. It so far hasn't been a great experience for me. Shield crafting, haggle, lowering prices is not a terrible idea. Uh, I'm not really—I don't really use boosters at all. Let's see, better trading. I could go for better, just better money, but I don't. I'm but definitely 
starting to get to uh, territory where I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to need money in the first place. Learn how to use exploding car traps. That sounds fun. Maybe I should just buy more traps. That sounds like fun. That just sounds like we could have a good time uh, activating weird traps. Can I get across? There we go. This is a it's this is definitely a good zone to have a grappling hook in it because it's a lot of high roofs. Vaguely reminds me of uh, the new Assassin's Creed game, uh, Unity, which takes place in France and has a lot of tall buildings. Very awkward platforming for that game because it's not very fun to climb up a six-story building one floor at a time in the Assassin's Creed style. But in this game, you got a you got a bullshit grappling hook, and nothing matters, and it's actually pretty fun. Kind of a Batman, kind of has a Batman Arkham feeling. Oh, I see you guys down there. I see you. Can I just burn you assholes? Come on, how, how good am I at aiming? I'm apparently terrible at aiming. Mystery solved. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's great. That is spectacular. Oh, they see me. Let's see, switch to my rifle. Is he down? He's down. That guy's on fire. How is he even shooting at me? No one has that kind of self-control. There's gonna be so many zombies coming this way now because I'm because I'm, of the gunfight. I'll have to get the airdrop and go. Let's switch to my uh. There we go. Switch to my grappling hook as fast as possible. Try to get down there. You can't use the grappling hook on the floor, weirdly enough, but you can use it on anything nearby. So here is oh, there's the airdrop. Let's grab what we can from it. I'm about to get attacked. Oh no, it's it's locked. Okay, I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. I cannot move. Uh, da -da. there we go. Melee weapons out. Taken care of. Hey guys, how's it going? I see you. There we go. According to plan. Come here. There we go. Just stand still, let them come to you. It works just fine. Go ahead and heal, because I've created an abundance of uh, healing potions just for this purpose. We're still under attack. I'm just going to avoid making noise, though. If I avoid making noise, then we can... Let this sort of disperse, and then I can go after the airdrop. Hello there. It's worth going for airdrops because the uh, the amount of drop, the uh, amount of experience you get for turning them in is pretty severe. There we go. All right, so hopefully I'll get this open before someone else attacks me. Going left first did not pay off. Come on. Little up, oh, less left. There we go. No more lock picking for me. And I, I, I heard the roaring noises, but I didn't see anyone actually approaching. There we go. Ask Troy to help you find Jade. We'll get on that in a second here. Do a little bit of searching. Rifle ammo full. What do we have here? Money. And camo. Oh, that's a zombie. That's not a not another one of them. Alright. Keep heading towards the objective. We're pretty close at this point. Oh yeah, it looks like it's right up here. What up a basket? Nope. Tough as nails. Okay, that's that looks like that tower up there is where I'm heading for. That's it fits the description they just gave me. Also, there's a giant glowing waypoint telling me where to go. <laughs> just so I don't oversell my investigative abilities. All right, we're getting close. Is, a, is that a big guy? It looks like a big guy. Could be an NPC, potentially. I'm on cooldown, so let's just do manual platforming for a second. Oh, he's just some dude. Okay, here we go. Hey, friend. Taking- Oh! Oh, shit! That did not work. As well as I thought I was going to. But that did. That worked- that worked as well as it always does. I like that the, uh... I'm happy that the foot stomps are liable, at the very least. Now let's try to get up there. Right to the top? Oh, okay, I can't go that high. Where can I- where can I attach to? If this goes wrong, I'm dead. So I'm a little concerned. Please grab something. Ah, oh, fuck. Game Y. This game really needs to make sure that you only grapple to let to platforms that where the game's gonna automatically grapple on. Cause it just it really screws you sometimes. Let's just do it the slow way. Alright. Up we go. You really have to be in the parkour mood to survive around here, don't you? This is specifically crafted around this game's mechanics. I can get up there, right? Oh, I'm in a safe zone. Which means I can't use my grappling hook, which actually kind of makes it less safe, because the grappling hook would actually help me skip a lot of this platforming that could, make, that could put me in danger. I question the definition of safe zone. Alright, jump. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really bummed out if I fall because a, a jump doesn't quite work or something on the way across. Looks like I can go right here on this wood. Come on. Don't have anything going wrong here. I don't want to die in a safe zone. Although, as I fall, I'll probably fall out of the safe zone. It might be possible to suddenly whip out my uh, grappling hook and save my and save myself on the way down in a very Spider-Man sort of way. Hey, you're Crane, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. Oh, whoa. I was in balance mode for a second there. I was having some difficulties. All right, in the loft. Is that in here? Crane! <laughs> it's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. I've almost rigged a way to break through the comm jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. You're looking for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, you know where she is? Jade, this is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade, hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rise's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is, the GRE hired me. Right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this this classified file, but but that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but I talked them into waiting because they want that research that you're carrying. Now we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. Jade? You bastard! Jade! Crane. The last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her. Well, tensions are certainly rising. So we're gonna have to find Jade. And it doesn't sound like she's very happy with me right now. But we'll see how this goes. We're gonna take a break though, so thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time.